hard to believe that this is only Ross Chastain's third win. Now, I never, I never won a cup race. I run second three times. I'll go to my grave. It bothers me a little bit. But Ross Chastain, he runs up front all the time. You would have thought this would have at least been his 10th or 15th win. Ross Chastain won Talladega, and he won Circuit of the America. Can you believe this is Ross Chastain's very first normal oval win? Talladega is a super speedway. It's a, it's a chance race. However, it's a win. Circuit of the America is a road course. I cannot believe. And uh, you know, listen to Steve Loletta, who works there, who brought it up before the race. Uh, so Ross Chastain finally gets his first normal oval NASCAR win. But what I do like, think about it this way. What a great deal for Ross Chastain because now he's checked all the boxes. He's won on a road course. He's won on a super speedway. And now he's won on a normal oval. I guess if you want to get ignorant about it, you could say, but he ain't won on a short track. Well, calm down. I think Ross Chastain is still relatively normal. Uh, new, I mean. And, uh, you know, but, yeah, unbelievable. All right. It was very clear in Ross Chastain's victory lane interview on the front stage straight away that this whole Rick Hendrick deal has been wearing on him. So let's go to the Herminator. When we interviewed Ross Chastain on Kenny Wallace Live at the Worldwide Technology Raceway, I was smashing watermelons. Ross came up. He looked at me. Ross Chastain said, I don't want to be on the Kenny Wallace show again out by the swimming pool. Well, I, you know, we've done like four or five Ross Chastain, Kenny Wallace shows because Ross is the gift that keeps giving. Listen, the promoters, my own Chris Blair here, he loves Ross Chastain. The promoters loved Ross running into everybody. They loved it. Now, has Ross Chastain been neutered? Well, let, let's break the interview down. Let's, let's listen to what Ross had to say. Ross said it was a tough time on him. The watermelon farmers, the agriculture bunch, I didn't see this coming. He says those, those are the people that kept him going. His family, and of course, he brought up the race team last. So I really think Ross went home to family, watermelon farmers, and I think they made him go keep, keep digging. But he won this race without touching a soul. Uh, they were three wide on restarts. Hey, was the race unbelievable? No, it wasn't unbelievable. However, that's still that car. Um, listen, I've raced there a lot. It's not the racetrack. We, we've talked about they still got work to do on this car. However, Jeff Gluck just did a poll. 88% said it was a great race. So maybe, maybe not you. It ain't like there's a couple people. Jeff Gluck's Twitter feed get thousands and thousands of people. Maybe the race wasn't so unbelievable, but maybe everything surrounding it, right? There was a lot of storylines. Uh, yet Chase Elliott came back. He ran good. Let's see Herman's notes here. Let's do the quick breakdown. Everybody texting me right now want me to want me to say what they want me to say. Uh, okay, here's the rundown. Ross Chastain wins it. Ryan Truex second. Denny Hamlin third, Chase Elliott fourth. That's why everybody, that's why everybody liked the race because the most popular driver's back. He run fourth. He's Ross, uh, not Chase Elliott's like 60 something points from the cut. Remember, he got a he got an exemption. He can still qualify for this championship chase. Uh, Kyle Larson fifth, William Byron sixth, C Bell seventh, Eric Jones eighth. Good show. Uh, Kyle Busch ninth, A.J. Allmendinger, two top tens. So that colleague team is showing up. So uh, let's get back to Ross Chastain. Uh, he was clearly hurt by what, and, and this is his, this is his quotes. He says, obviously, when Rick Hendrick called me out nationally, it hurt like hell. 
And uh, he was definitely quiet. I said that, you know, I didn't say it, but I think some people thought he was neutered. You know, cut it, cut his balls off. Uh, here, I, I, I said it. Was, was he neutered? I think he was neutered, but I think he fell on himself. I think he found himself again. The, the, the agriculture bunch, his family, the race team. But then again, he didn't have to rough nobody up. It was a good win, clean race. So uh, now listen, I'm just commenting on his victory lane interview. This is, I'm just commenting on his victory lane interview. I'm not bringing up anything new. So he said it was rough. It, it was hard on him. He, you know, he was hurt. You could see it in his face. So uh, he overcome that. And, uh, I, I, but I must say, the promoters like, I, I know Chris Blair, who is the manager at, he's my dear friend. Hi, Chris. I know you're listening. Chris Blair, the general manager at Gateway, he, he doesn't like the clean, normal winning Ross. <laughs> he likes the guy that knocks the hell out of each other because it was making NASCAR famous. And Chris has got a point. You, you got to have the Dale Earnhardt Sr. Dale Earnhardt Sr. became very famous for knocking the hell out of everybody. Get out of my way. Uh, if Listen, if you're leading, here, here was Dale Sr. You're leading and I'm second. You're gone. <laughs> Apologize later. Sorry. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. So that's the way Sr. did it. I'm running second. I'm not. Listen, I'm going to try to pass you, pass you clean one time. May, I don't think Senior gave you three times. Senior was not, I'm going to give you three times. It's like, I'm going to try one time. You jack with me, I'm going to get rid of you. So there is an argument to be made that we do need Ross to continue knocking the hell out of each other. So maybe he'll go back to his old ways. I think if he gets that, gets that air about him, he just might. So uh, listen, he simply, Ross Chastain simply won the race, and that's that. Um, all right, that's it.